Thanks for joining me here at the Cadence booth at Embedded World. Um, as you've been walking the, the show floor just like I have, a couple of trends uh, here at Embedded World became very obvious, right? You have lots of devices uh, that calling it the internet of a trillion things across various application domains from medical to lots of automotive here in Germany. Um, these things continue to uh, communicate through hubs into the cloud and then there's a lot of talk about machine learning, deep learning, autonomous driving and so forth based on the data which all the sensors uh, bring up into the cloud. So with those trends there's uh, important items like connectivity between lots of things into the hubs and into the cloud. You need to deal with the processing here, you need to analyze the performance of all this. One of the things uh, common to all this is prototyping. You need to be able to prototype the system um, of things, hubs and uh, the, the cloud devices, the servers and the connectivity between them, the networks, using um, prototypes before you commit to silicon. One of the things we announced here at Cadence is our latest um, FPGA-based prototyping platform, Potium S1, which you see over here. It's uh, based on the latest Xilinx technology, the ultra-scale FPGAs. And as you can see here, this scales from very small devices all the way to very complex servers and networks and even application processors here. So the system scales from 25 million gates with, this, uh, with a single FPGA uh, all the way up to a 200 million gate system which you have in one chassis here, which has eight FPGAs, eight ultra-scale FPGAs. And then you can chain multiple systems together uh, to get to 600 million gates and more. One of the key challenges in the past has been when you have a design for, uh, meant for silicon to map it into the FPGA. Customers used to have prototyping teams which take the RTL manually, remodel memories, deal with all the clocking and uh, make sure that the design which is intended for a, an ASIC implementation actually fits into the FPGA. That in the past took months to do. It took you sometimes uh, several months to get to a prototype. We have reduced with this system the time to prototype literally from months to weeks or even days. The way we have done that is we have um, married the flow of the Potium S1 system with the Palladium emulation system, the Palladium Z1 emulation platform. So with the same bring-up flow, you can get a design which is functionally congruent between emulation and FPGA-based prototyping. And then when you want to do your software development on a faster uh, FPGA-based prototype, you get the time to prototype reduced literally to weeks and days compared to the months at, uh, as it used to be in the past. The way we have done that is really mirroring those capabilities like memory modeling, clock synchronization and so forth. So you get um, after um, a couple of weeks um, a functional prototype which runs about five times the speed of emulation. Um, compared to the previous system, the Potium system we had announced a couple of years ago, this is based on the latest uh, ultra-scale technology from Xilinx. It is about up to six times um, bigger, so it can scale up to 600 million gates. It's twice as fast. We dealt uh, with the clocking capabilities um, internally to uh, advance the compiler for that. And with all that, the time to, prototype, uh, time to prototype has been reduced significantly and gives you now all the things you need from small 25 million gates all the way up to 600 million gates uh, to um, prototype your devices uh, for the Internet of Things, getting to market much faster than in the past. For more information, go to cadence.com. From there, you can contact us for more information. We'll get in touch with you to uh, get together with you to optimize your designs.